I want this finger to touch that, the Marshall Man sign. <laughs> so I want this to touch that circle, relax everything, and as, because for this to go forward, elbow has to come up, it has to hinge, at the same time this moves forward. So you see it's very effortless, right? And you see how it penetrates in, of course, then, you know, <laughs> moving with more speed. Or then, then later on, if I want to aim there and I add another vector, let's say bounce out, you can start to go like that and you step forward then. So it's just, you get freedom of movement while the joints are able to move and then you add the body behind it, be it a pivot or a step. Instead of that, if we have that loose mobility, if you have that, that, that loose mobility with the arms, at the same time with the body turning, if you let go, if you don't let go, and at that point, of course, I can actually yeah. hit through. It's a, it's a defendant attack at the same time, right? From here, nice and relaxed, move from the center, like that, it's a different thing. So th there's no, the mass is coming through to him rather than shifting to the back leg and making this weaker. Of course, then for, you know, for, you know, <laughs> sorry, for. Okay. Ooh. Wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so for the for the striking, like yesterday I was doing the striking on you guys, I wasn't adding pivots into it. If you want to feel the shoulder blade or whoever, I might as well because it's yeah. So not this, not this, like that, but rather that. Yeah, so here, stop, stop it, stop it, come on. <laughs> so you can start to move. And this is against direct resistance. Not that I'm finding his weakness, going down with it, moving around, and while he's there pushing him back. Not like that, but I'm going to move my arm here, you stop it. So we can start to get that again for self-defense, the punches come in, that means you can go directly through the punch. Or if I wanted to bring my arm down rather than bring it back here, you know, sort of like that, same thing. Go like that, then you can start to bring it down, you can start to, you know, you can start to come directly against the person's force rather than going around it, which is nothing wrong with it but it's more efficient to come against it because then you can just smash straight through. Whereas when you've got this kind of power, but from there with that speed, then we can hit from very close range, be it a, you know, be it a shoulder charge, be it an elbow, be it whatever, you can get, boom, you can get that explosive power. This is structure, yeah. it's more, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, as we tease out, yeah. If I, and if I start doing that, or if I start, yeah, if I, you know, so you can start picking him up and dance, making him dance. You see? Even he's doing whatever, he, even he, okay, even if he hits me to the chest, so I won't cover the line of attack and let him hit me to the chest, right? But as we contact, as you hit me to the chest, hit me to the chest, even if you really don't be polite and hit me, that still won't have any power because effectively he's going like this, right? Right? So you take that, they don't have anything. You want to have it that you have this. So the legs are ready to go, the arm is ready to go, yeah? yeah. You know, so it's start to close the distance, it close the gap and start to come in. Yeah. Just move the spine, but these muscles have other plans. So even you think move the spine, no, it's gonna shift and it's gonna do that. So it's, that's why relaxation is very important. So take on, sing, and then as these are free to move, I'll just move forward like that. Yeah, like that. Dropping down of the muscles is not one off, it's constant, like a flow. So the fountain's going up, at the same time, the water's coming down and it's a process rather than just a one-off, oh, relax, it's not like that. Rising up, dropping down, rising up, dropping down, so as you're pushing in, rising up, dropping down, and at that point, it seems like it's, it's, then you see how the effect on his body was, because there wasn't that much force coming in, it was outgoing that way. But you'll feel, the, if I resist against it, you feel I'm resisting and you feel I'm resisting, right? Whereas if, I, if you do it again, and I loosen the spine, and I relax as you pull up, Charlie, yeah, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, and as it's pulling up, it's got nothing to do with the spine. I can still move him. It's, it's happening from the spine. It's got nothing to do with the stand, sorry, with the floor. It's happening from the spine. Okay. I would go for that one. So I would kick that one with a heel kick on the way. I would be taking this. And the force here, I'll just tap lightly. The, the oh! force here is like that. Yeah. <laughs> But as you kick, at that point, it means like I can take yeah, it and yeah. kick back, because, or, or as, you, as you kick, yeah, I can just go like that, because it's not affecting me in the same way. I'm going like this as that's happening. So there's an even expansion out, yeah? And as that happens, you will feel there's a lot of power, but there was also a fulcrum. Take on, sing. These are very relaxed. I'm just going to keep my spine upright. I'll just walk forward, you know? It's, it's your fault, you're in my way, right? So from here, hold strong, and I'll slowly, okay, take on. I'll talk through what I'm doing. Take on and relax the bum and hamstrings. Relax the back of the knees. Then slowly, hold strong, eh? don't be polite, please. Don't be compliant. Tailbone beneath the crown of the head and slowly th through my lower back, thoracic back, through the neck, and then relax. Hold, hold properly, man, don't be polite. Yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> now keep going, keep going harder. I'll just show nothing to do with the ground. Keep going, hold hard, so. 
and if I move back, back into him, something like that will happen.